Hey, welcome back and hope you guys are doing well. And this is a request from one of you guys and to draw the Zazi or Zazi or Zaze beats. I'm not sure how to pronounce her name, uh, but she's definitely got a very, uh, very cool look. And her features are very pronounced, which uh, makes kind of fun for uh, for drawing. So I'm kind of torn between, because I was searching for images and this one, I'm gonna stick with this one because this one has a little bit more attitude, even though the uh, the face is kind of uh, at, a, at a kind of strange angle, but it's got a lot more attitude and I it's a little bit harder to draw actually. Um, the frontal uh, versions are always a little bit easier. So with, with this kind of face, um, the reason I always find it hard or harder is because of the slant, it creates a lot of distortions and you just have to be a little bit more careful um, because if it's a little bit off, it actually shows up a lot more, I think, than if you were to draw a, a frontal version. All right, so I'm just gonna draw a line here just for the slant of the eye. And let's just go from there. Okay, so let's say if this was the eye socket here. So things are compressed here, that's why it's a little bit harder. So let's say I'm gonna draw So one of her eye. So here's the nose. So you can see how, how short the nose is right here. Okay, let's draw in the other eye. So let's say, looking at the spaces in between, it's about one eye like this. see okay then the nose so you come down from the eyes right around here again it's very short here's the slant of the face and then this corner the side of the nose right straight down from the eye right here that's how I'm measuring this again I'm looking at all the vertical lines which is which is the easiest one and then we can check here yeah, so this eye is probably a little bit off. Let's draw in the eyeball. That'll give us a little bit more reference point. Let's go with that and we'll keep coming down. Keep coming down. Let's draw in the, the mouth, the lip. And we can actually check the lightness after this. So the lip comes down here again, straight down. And here's the slant. So I'm just gonna draw another line. The corner of the lip. Here, the nose. Checking here, coming down, straight down. And this angle from the wings of the nose coming down here. Checking this angle. Let's see if I go straight down, be right around here. She's got very sexy looking lips, very full lips. Okay, might be a little big, huh? Yeah, I think everything is kind of wide. See, the nose is a little bit wide. So that's why it's throwing things off because I'm now that I'm going, um, using the nose as a reference. Okay, so let me trim that back slightly. So maybe it should be right, right around here. Coming down, let's see. Very nice jawline right here. That's not too bad. This might work. Again, you know, lightness. Um, you want it perfect. Just go ahead and trace it. 
it's a lot easier. <laughs> but this is, you know, it's a good exercise to being able to see correctly. Uh, go a long way, you know, in terms of drawing. The eyebrow, and then we can check the angles here coming down. This goes out. There's always a, a bump right here from the, the corner of the eye. You can almost draw a little curve like that. Actually, it works pretty well. Okay, let me see. My guess is my, my face is going to be stretched because I'm seeing it at kind of like a strange angle. So that tends to happen. All right, but let's go for it. I think this is okay. You know, let's, let's draw in some of the features. Uh, I am using a 4B here. Okay, so let's shade in the eyeball. I'm starting on, I always like to start on the left side of the paper. That way I can see what I've drawn. Okay, eyeball here. There is, here's the pupil. Here's the highlight. Shade in the pupil and then there's also a slight highlight here. And then this part gets darker. Okay. Comes down here. So I'm being a little bit more careful here. I do want to try to get the lightness first. Just in case I'm wrong. And what is really cool about this uh, photo is just the, the highlight. There's going to be a highlight all the way, uh, kind of like a rim lighting, all the way down the face, which is kind of cool. And also on the nose right here as well. So maybe I'll just draw this so I can keep the highlight. So that hopefully that's going to be white right here. I'm going to keep this white. Okay, and also her Skin tone is darker, so we're going to have to give it a nice overall shade first before we can do any uh, serious shading. But let me come in here and draw this eye first. Notice a little gap right here on the eye. From the eyeball right here, there's a little gap right here. Very important. Shade the bottom. Okay, so the eyeball, let's see. Let's shade in this eyeball. Here's the people. Here's the highlight on this side right here. A little box, and there's a little bit of a highlight here. And then the rest is going to be darker. Top is always darker. Casting shadow, uh, some of the shadow from the upper lid. Okay. It's getting kind of a strange stare right here angle slightly off. Let's come down more here. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Okay, let's draw in some of the eyebrows. So I'll come back to this side. I'm hoping to catch catch the attitude of this drawing of the expression. I think that's what kind of attracted me to it. Okay, let's see. Let's start some shading here. Let's make this a little bit darker. Right here is dark. 
And let's come in. Let's see, should I draw the nose first or should I start shading? I'm so I'm so anxious to shade. Well, let's shade this. Here's the highlight right here on the upper lid. I'll be slightly darker here and here. Okay, so that's kind of important to I can get this glow on the right there. Yeah, my eyeball is like way off. The one that's got a strange stare to it. it needs to be go back more right there. Okay, now it looks like it's looking at you. Here, here. This part is really nice right here. Dark in here. And this is uh, right on the corner of the eye right here. This part is always white. It always catches the light. I should be giving an overall shade first, but I guess I'm a little too anxious. I really want to bring out this eye right here. So this part sinks in. There's a little the highlight is right around here, and then this part gets a little bit darker. Yeah, my face is really slanted right here. Now I see it. I moved a little bit and now I can see all the, uh, the distortion. So I'm going to correct this right now. So this needs to come down more. Let me see what happens. I'm drawing with a camera in front of you or over it. I can't put my head over it. Okay. Well, hopefully it's just the mouth. It won't be too bad. Maybe it's not too bad. All right, so let's keep going. Uh, all right, let's be a little bit looser here. I'm, I'm a little bit too stiff right now. Let's give it an overall shade. Here's the highlight right here. So I can feel myself a little too tight here. So the problem with not giving an overall shade, like what I've just done right now, is that you end up um, shading things over and over again because, again, she has dark skin tone. So if you keep shading without, you know, without the base coat, um, it could be off. It tends to be off and or not dark enough. So then you spend a lot of time shading, and then you realize it's not dark enough, and then okay, now you got to push everything. Uh, Going to another, another another level, so that's the problem. All right, so let's concentrate on the nose right now here. So here's the nostril, and then yeah, it's a highlight. I, I think I'll probably have to bring it back with a eraser or something because it's pretty small. So this is like a ball right here. So here's the height highlight. This dark down here. Here's the wings of the nose, and this part is dark because it's actually the shadow. So the shadow is very dark. Okay, so let's give this another shade. A little bit easier once you shade it and now I can get the values more accurately, I think. Okay, it's lying here. So this is underneath the nose. This is really dark right here, so I might use a 6B later. Let's just draw some of the other details first. Here's the wings of the nose. Here's 
So rich. So even the eye is not dark enough. Because once you make the skin darker, everything else um, kind of lightens up. The lip here is pretty cool. It's got a lot of little detail here. If I can catch some of that. A little bit of bounce light right here and then this part let's give this one shade first because this upper lip is darker right here right in the middle right here is dark as well and there's a little bit of bounce light on the bottom right here that's pretty important that's why this middle part is darker The lower lip is not as dark. It's catching more light. The corner right here is dark. Again, very uh, lots of little complicated uh, things going on there with the light on the side. So underneath the lip right here is darker. Okay, let's give this another shade. See highlight right around here. Okay. So hopefully I can correct this, make, make her a little bit more feminine. Because right now um, it's a little rough. Sometimes you know she's got really big features, and if you, you know, draw in, I guess too much shadowing and and. Might get a little rough and it looks like uh, start looking like a man instead. Let's lip this way off. So you kind of want to smooth things out sometimes, you know, for female drawings. Yeah, the darker skin is kind of throwing me off here. Okay. Let's try a 6B. This is kind of looking very strange. I don't know if I'm going to be able to save this drawing. I'm going to try to clean it up right now, see if I can salvage this drawing. Because sometimes it's just like, you know, if it's a little bit off too much, you might be better off just starting over. There's some good things about it, so we'll keep going. Underneath the nose, okay, the nostril is really dark. We have to push that in really dark, or else the other parts of the nose won't come up. If it's too dark, you can just stab it. You know, sometimes though, you know, the eraser really works. It's too much. Yeah, the highlights throwing me off. So let's leave that. 
I'll bring that back with a with a eraser. So I can dab this, you know, just to clean it up a little bit, and then hopefully I can reshade it. Okay, and then the lip. Okay, I'm just gonna make it really dark here. Kind of kind of losing the uh, the attractiveness of the lip here. There's so many little things. That's also the problem. This, and I'm drawing kind of small. So the only way to attack this is to simplify it. And that's what I'm trying to do here. a little bit better. The nose is getting there. Okay, let's come back up here. Now that the nose darker, um, the eye right here needs to be darker as well. So I'm pushing pretty hard on this paper right now, just to get the value correct, hopefully. Kind of squinting my eyes. This should be darker. Highlight here. Yeah, this is not going well again. The lightness, uh, it's off, and worse off, it's just, yeah, the shading is off. It's very dark. There's a lot more shading. Let's see if I can salvage this. If not, I'll just call it a day and try again another time. I was hoping to have the highlight, but it's really small. I mean, I would have to shade, um, you know, let's say if I draw this. I'm kind of giving up on this drawing, by the way. If I were to bring in the highlight, so let's say I'll shade this. And then let's bring in the electric eraser. Let's try to get a nice little line there if I can. Still don't have my brush with me. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave. Let's leave some of that. Let's just leave the the eraser stuff on there, the paper. <laughs> okay, so if I shade this, should be able to get a line. Actually, it looks better like this. Just 
it's a little bit of detail on the, the eyelash. Well, this is actually looking better now that I have this. Just goes to show you the having the right lighting is so important. And shading the correct lighting. Having the line there really helps just brought out everything. So maybe I might be able to salvage this. So this nose right here, yeah, this part, it's really important to get the highlight. Again, too dark right here. Highlights right here, this goes up. Okay, yeah, that does look better. All right, so I got rid of a uh, lot of yeah, I had to blow away all the dust um, <laughs> on the uh, on the eraser. If you want to smooth things out, I guess I can come in here like later on, and with um with a two B, and just fill in some of the spaces, and that will, I think that will smooth things out. So right now it's looking a little butch. So I think we could save this drawing. I was going to give up on it. So let's see. Right now I'm using a 2B. And let's try to correct some of this. Or smooth it out at least. That might work. Well, let's continue up first. And our hair is really cool. Might be able to frame everything like that. Let's draw some of the neckline that might, again, help bring everything together. Um, any kind of portrait, you do need some framing. Just jaw. Clothing here, um, yeah, I'm not sure. Well, let's, because we can actually skip that. But then you lose this line here. Let's just make this dark then. Darker down here underneath the neck. Yeah, a lot of a lot more shading with the obviously with the dark skin tone. So I think that is a little bit harder in that respect. Um, feels a little bit messier to me. Here's the ear. Nose and she's got the huge earring. Just simplify that. The ears are very complicated as well. Um, but what you want to do is usually, you know, not drawing so much details on the ear because it's not a generally not a very attractive feature. You know, 
to look at or you know not as pretty like it's kind of not as attractive as you know the face or the eye things like that so if you want to minimize it it's kind of nice to just leave leave the details out or we'll just simplify it yeah Earring, we can simplify this. So anything that you don't want to draw too much attention to, just give it a little bit less detail, uh, a little bit rougher in the, in the drawing, and we we'll tend not to look at that as much so that we can keep the focus in the, uh, you know, in the face. So like back here, I can just kind of leave it loose like that. Feels okay too. Yeah, so she's looking a little bit better now that I've drawn the other stuff in. Okay. Hair. Darker here. So obviously with the with the afro, it's you know you can't join the indiv individual strands. So you just have to shade it and then add in little details here and there. Just try to give the find the major, you know, bumps and like right here, just a little line right here. Okay, now that frame the face is a little bit more attractive. So this part here is darker. The highlights right here. Sometimes I feel I'm just going darker and darker into the abyss. You know, that's when the uh, style needs to come in. You don't need to draw things like that and just just call it done, you know, because you don't want to shade everything or else it's going to be crazy. Here's the hair. Let's see. Okay, let's come back to the face right here. Well, actually, let me frame this a little bit. See, this looks weird, right? Um, you can't really tell it's a shoulder unless you draw more of it. So that's the problem. Sometimes you draw in only parts of it. So it looks really weird. Might be better off if, if I didn't draw, you know, end of the shoulder at all. Okay, so I think, uh, yeah, the now now that if I put this next to it, this eye is like totally wrong. This needs to the eye needs to start right around here. So here's something crazy. Uh, let's see if I can actually salvage this. Because the rest of it's actually okay. I mean, this area is kind of nice, but it's just the lightness right here is all off, so it looks kind of strange. I wonder if I can actually save this. See, this is where I wish I was doing things on the computer, because then I could just move the eye over. <laughs> all right, so let's redraw this eye. This will be my last attempt. I'm ha I haven't given up yet. So let me see. I guess there are some things I like about it.
think that tends to happen on my drawings. Things tend to slant out. I think it's just to my perspective when I'm looking at things from this angle right here where I'm drawing from. Darker here, again, this little curve. Eyebrow now is all the way here. To come down, and then this part way too dark. Darker in here. So I'm trying to see things in chunks. Very dark in here. So here's the crazy thing. I actually like the way I'm drawing this eye much better than what I started with. Because now I'm actually feel like I'm sketching. I'm I'm really loose now. I don't care as much. I feel like I'm just drawing. I think the beginning was way too tight. Again, the having trying to achieve the likeness of it. Sometimes when you care too much, it just it screws you up. Okay, so let's let's continue this then. Let's continue the the way I'm shading right now. So I'm just looking and then just block it in. Darker, darker. This eye feels better than this eye, just to, just the way it's drawn. I'm just dabbing with the eraser. Hopefully I can erase some stuff out so I can just redraw. Okay, let's see the lip. Again, lots of little things going on here. Chin needs to be a lot darker here. That'll give you know this full shape here. Let's see. This part you can actually leave lighter. But right here needs to be darker. So it's almost like a style where you have dark here and then this rest of the face kind of fade, fades off. That kind of works too. Okay, so I think now oh, it's salvageable. I'm gonna put my head over this because I might be able to Yeah, still salvage this. I know sorry it's a little bit of a long drawing. I think the darker skin really kinda of threw me off. It's just a lot more shading and The hard thing is just the angle and how I got the eye wrong. That really threw me off uh, from the get-go. 
this looks a little bit better now. Okay, so uh, I'm going to see if I can salvage this. If not, hope I guess this will be a lesson on, you know, just when things don't go too well and you just try to, try to salvage it as best as you can. And uh... All right, so hopefully I'll be back to show you a much better final product. All right, so here's the final drawing, and I know it looks very different from what I began with, uh, what I started with. And that's because I spent probably another hour or so just shading, um, correcting a lot of little things like um, getting the values correct and shading with the 2B and the 4B here just to fill in the gaps made a huge difference. Um, I was able to get in all those little details and I think above all, it just filled in the paper a lot better, you know, because earlier it was just a little bit too rough with the, with the 6B. Um, so that really helped and yeah, just kind of cleaned up everything and in order to clean up some of the areas sometimes I just, you know, dab it with, um, let's say like, you know, the nose area or whatever and just dab it and I'll take away some of the, the lead in there and then I can go back in there, just kind of clean it up and it tends to smooth things out as well. So that's a good thing. So yeah, that's the final drawing here. I don't think I'm going to do any more on this. Um, the hair was a lot of fun. Um, again, a little bit more style. I just want to fade things out so I don't have to draw everything. And I just kind of want to keep the focus to the face. And I know the lightness is off. Um, that's okay. Uh, it still looks pretty and it still kind of looks like her. So that's good. And the highlight is what I really like about this, this, um, this photograph here. It just really brings out her face, especially in the nose area. So it started out bad and it ended up well because it forced me to you know, do some more intensive shading, which is uh, something I really need to practice on. Okay. So I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed this little video. Um, sorry I can't show you the, the rest of this because it's just so tedious and long. Uh, I might record it next time, you know, to do another video on this, um, maybe like a speed drawing or something like that. Alright, so thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.